Small communities across Australia are struggling with declining populations and a lack of services. But one town in southwest Queensland is refusing to die. The Thalon Progress Association wants to stop tourists from passing them by. And it's thinking big, commissioning painted grain silos and a giant wombat. Ellie Bradfield reports. The town of Thallon isn't what it was. Since the collapse of passenger rail 20 years ago, the once bustling town has shrunk to 300 people. Rail employees left the town and then businesses closed down, less children at the school, so it had a real flow on effect. The drought has made things worse. We haven't put any wheat in this year, which I can't remember not putting anything in, but this year it's been... Yeah, pretty, pretty dry. But this month, Thallon has shown signs of its former glory. With locals and intrigued tourists enjoying a new attraction. The town's old grain silos given a facelift by Brisbane street artists. We love this community and we know it's special. So having something that uh, I guess gives other people an opportunity to experience it as well is like, that's why we're here. Well, there's not, not much industry here, so they've got to do something. But the local Progress Association has another big plan, making the most of a connection to the endangered northern hairy-nosed wombat found in the area by a local farmer. The Back from the Brink campaign was about bringing, helping to raise public awareness to bring northern hairy-nosed wombats back from the brink, but also bringing Thallon back from the brink. A likeness of that original wombat will be erected in the park. A statue of William the Wombat is expected to arrive in Thallon by early September. He'll be three and a half metres wide and nearly two metres tall. Locals are hoping that will be yet another reason for tourists to stop here in Thallon. Those who love the place say they won't let their town die. Towns like Thallon are people's homes. People are born here, people die here, people love here. So they deserve to keep their towns and they deserve to live in the places that they love. At the hotel, they're once again <coughs> toasting the future. Where's Thallon? We all know where Thallon is now. Ellie Bradfield, ABC News, Thallon.